Finally tonight, some bees of burden. Honeybees help produce about a third of America's food supply, but last year, nearly half the bees in the U.S. disappeared. A problem being felt across the Atlantic as well. Jonathan Vigliotti now on some detective bees working the case. At London's Botanic Gardens, beneath the flowers where wild bumblebees roam, deep in a secure basement laboratory, British ecologist Sarah Barlow suits up her bees for flight. It's called the bumblebee backpack, and it's one of the smallest tracking devices ever placed on a living organism. We'd be able to build up a map of the bee's movements and see um, a network of where they've been, how long they've been out feeding, how far they've traveled. So the idea is every time she passes by a receiver like this, it will then be sent to a computer and you will know essentially her every move. Exactly, so her tag emits a unique signal that will be picked up by a reader if she flew within a meter of it. A bumblebee radar, but outfitting the bees with her prototype backpack is no small feat. Barlow stores her bees in a refrigerator. The cold makes them more docile, usually. And she's making those warning sounds just to tell me. She restrains the bee by carefully pinning it in place. Barlow then applies regular old super glue to the back and finally the microchip. After drying for a few minutes, the bee can buzz off. A wobbly start at first, the tracker is half the bee's weight after all. For now, the pilot program is limited to a greenhouse with plans to place receivers around the bee's feeding paths out in the wild. Barlow developed the backpack with engineer friend Dr. Mark O'Neill, who before bees tracked missiles for the British military. Why put so much effort and energy into this? Simply because it's interesting. I'm, I'm curious about the world and you need these sorts of tools to actually understand the complexity of, of, of living systems properly. It's one tiny tool that Barlow and O'Neill hope will unlock the secret world of bees and the mystery behind their disappearance. Jonathan Vigliotti, CBS News, London.